Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gary Tubofri here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going ahead and building the BDX Armored Personnel Carrier. The BDX Armored Personnel Carrier is the result of an agreement between the Burham Demon of Belgium and an Irish holding company to manufacture the Tim Money 4x4 wheeled APC in Belgium. The result, the BDX, first produced in 1977, is based on an Irish design, which has been produced in Ireland in limited numbers for the Irish Army. The Belgian BDX has been produced for both the Belgian Air Force and the state uh, gendarmerie, gendarmerie uh, which I believe is probably the state police, uh, while a further five have been supplied to Argentina. While the BDX is essentially similar to the team money, uh, some changes were introduced to suit Belgium requirements. The basic BDX APC does not have a turret, being an armored steel hull uh, with access doors in sides and rear and the troop compartment can accommodate up to 10 occupants, all provided with individual seating. Um, so yeah, very interesting vehicle, and one fun fact about this vehicle is, despite its look, it actually is amphibious, which surprised me, um, mostly, was thinking that this thing is actually amphibious. Um, definitely doesn't look that part, but it apparently actually is. Um, so apparently there are uh, propulsion uh, in the water that is supplied from the wheels, um, and apparently there is uh, ability to have water jets uh, put in that could improve its performance in water. So pretty crazy stuff there. Pretty interesting also um, So yeah, this is a basically modified team money, which is a Irish uh, Armored vehicle which I'll have to take a look into actually because I didn't actually know that until reading about it right here um, But the version we have in front of us is a little bit of an upgraded version of the BDX A lot of the pictures I was finding online had the turret up on top which basically has two 7.62 millimeter guns uh, so that's what I went ahead and decided to go with. Obviously, if you want to make the basic one, you can just go and strip that completely off and just have a solid roof across there. But, I mean, more guns, more better, right? So, anyways, uh, I think this is our first ever Belgium Modern Warfare vehicle. I definitely know it's our first one for Modern Warfare. I don't know if we've done any World War II ones. I don't think we have. Um, so, I think this might be our first Belgium uh, native vehicle pretty much ever on the channel. So, that's also really cool as well. Um, anyways, let's go and take a look at the vehicle so we can get a general idea of what we're doing. It's a you know relatively small APC. It's only a 4x4, so it you know isn't very big. Only got four wheels, so uh, nothing massive here. Um, anyways, it's got a very interesting front to it. Um, very sloped. It has these really boxed, um, basically, uh, I don't know what you really want to call them, but basically these uh, boxed uh, light boxes here, and then it kind of flows back into the fender right here. And uh, the whole thing with it is that uh, this whole area right here has a pretty steep slant to it. It's kind of a, it's a really weird front to it. It's very interesting. And then it has like this, uh, you know, one section here. And it looks like it only really seats a driver right in the middle. But I, it has, says it has a crew of two. So maybe there are two people that can fit in here. Not 100% sure on that one. But really interesting nonetheless. Uh, anyways, as we go ahead and move our way back, we have obviously the turret up here with the two 7.26 or 7.62 uh, millimeter machine guns. Uh, some various different instruments and stuff like that around the turret as well. Smoke grenade dispensers, all that stuff. Um, and that's pretty much uh, that. Um, as we work our way back, we have uh, some different, you know, little, uh, you know, pieces on the side here. And also some little viewports here, obviously, for uh, the troops inside to be able to be able to look out of the vehicle. And uh, on the back here, just some detail. We got the door here for the for the uh, troops to disembark and um, you know that's pretty much the main vehicle uh, honestly it's really surprising this thing can house uh, you know 10 guys I really would think this would be more about maybe a six person uh, it must be a very cramped uh, APC that's for sure um, anyways really cool vehicle uh, really interesting and um, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer layer one all right guys so going ahead moving into our first layer we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number one for layer one to go ahead and get started here, we're going to be placing down two uh, narrow brick stairs. They're going to be upside down, back to back, just like that. Once that's done, come off this uh, second narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick top stabs over, followed by a narrow brick upside down stair, and one coming off of it like that to make the right front. Once that's done there, we're going to be placing down a placer block, coming off these two wheels going backwards, and then we're going to place down a row of three of wooden trap doors on the top portion of the block. Uh, going back like this so make sure that your wooden trap doors like aren't like this on the ground But on the top portion like so we could then delete these placeholder blocks and then coming back to this section here We're gonna place down another brick up down stair come off that uh, wooden trap door fall by a second one um, Also on this side, so we have basically the rear wheels here in between the uh, f most forward uh, narrow brick stairs we're gonna be placing down a row of three of stone brick tops that's across to go ahead and connect them up for the axle there 
We're taking a look at it from above. This is what we should have set up for layer number one. Pretty straightforward stuff. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started here, we're going to be placing down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of all these narrow brick ups and down stairs to go ahead and make the wheels all the way around the vehicle like so. So uh, just like that, we have all the wheels complete. With this done, uh, we're going to go ahead and start working our way um, toward the middle here and basically start working our way out. So we're going to go and start off with the front axle here. We're going to place down an anvil in the center, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. Once that's done there, we're going to go and take our uh, gr green terracotta. We're going to place down a green terracotta block coming off the center anvil. We then want to grab ourselves a stone, or sorry, a dark oak wood stair and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides of that green terracotta block. And coming off the dark oak wood stairs, we're going to be placing down dark oak wood upside down corner stairs. In between the corner stairs, come off the green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. With that done, going ahead and moving back to this section here, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both ends of that row of three. After that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of five of green terracotta lay across, just like this. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across the middle, followed by a spruce wood plank on both sides. And coming off the sides of the spruce wood plank, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone button on both ends like that. Once that's done there, we're going to be placing down a spruce wood upside down stair, coming off these two spruce wood planks, followed by a row of three of green terracotta across in between those uh, stairs. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down an anvil on top of this stone brick top slab and to both sides of the anvil, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like that uh, for the rear axle. We then want to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three of green terracotta across. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair, come off these narrow brick stairs like this on both sides. And in the space in between them, on the right side here, we're going to place down one and two upside down stairs over, followed by a third stair like that over here to the side. We then want to place down an item frame on the dark oak wood corner stair here in the corner and also this corner stair over here on this side with red stained glass panes over them like that for the rear brake lights. With that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer number three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our green carpet, place down a row of three on top of these dark oak wood up downstairs in the front here. Coming off the green carpet to both sides, we're going to be placing down a green terracotta block like this to both sides. So it's going to be the same thing here on both sides, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame, coming off those green terracotta blocks with a glass block in those item frames like so. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden signs and place down wooden signs wrapped around these green terracotta blocks, just like that. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on top of this green terracotta block into both sides of this dark oak wood upside down stair to place down a dark oak wood stair like that. Coming off the back of these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. And then coming off of those dark oak wood upside down stairs, we're going to place down another upside down stair facing it to create the, the uh, fenders over the wheels here. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across here followed by a row of five of green terracotta like that um, after that. We then want to place down a second row of five of green terracotta all the way across. Once that's done, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank on both sides here, followed by a row of three of green terracotta. And on this spruce wood plank on the side here, we're going to be placing down a stone button on both sides. We then want to place down a second row of three of green terracotta, spruce wood plank on both sides, and also a trip bar hook on the side of these spruce wood planks like that to both ends. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, coming off the spruce wood planks to both sides, a dark oak wood upside down stair over this narrow brick stair like that, and in the space in between these stairs, we're going to be placing down two rows of three of green terracotta. On the back here, we're then going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block here on both sides, a stone button on the green terracotta block to the right side here. We then want to place down a row of two of spruce wood planks on these two spruce wood upside down stairs, followed by a tripwire hook coming off the spruce wood plank here to the left, and then a sign on the spruce wood plank to the right. After that, we're going to go and then place down a green terracotta block in this space right here with a stone button next to it like that. Uh, once that's all done, uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up layer number uh, three. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be placing down a zombie head on top of these two dark oak wood ups downstairs, just like this. Coming off the zombie head to the side, we're going to be placing down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the rear of the vehicle. Same thing over here on this side as well. Coming off the front of the fence gate, we're going to be placing down an item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a glass pane 
and the same thing over here on this side as well, just like that. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a green carpet, place down a green carpet on these two dark oak wood ups downstairs. And for the middle space here, we're going to be placing down a redstone repeater on this dark oak wood ups downstairs, and we're going to flip the notches out to the sides like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair to both sides like this. And in the middle space here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a light gray stained glass block and place down a light gray stained glass block there in the middle. Behind these stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of light gray stained glass full blocks across, followed by a light gray stained glass pane to both sides like that. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair to both sides. And in the space in between the dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair on both sides just like this and in the space in between the uh, dark oak wood stairs we're going to be placing down a row of three of black wool. Once that's done we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs coming off this dark oak wood upside down stair there on both sides and in the spaces in between these three stairs or sorry these two stairs on both sides we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta. Uh, once that's done we're going to place down another upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides to create another little viewport. So just like this, and then in the space in between them, like we did before, we're going to place down a row of three of black wool across like that. Um, once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides on this green terracotta block. And in the space in between here, we're going to be placing down a spruce wood upside down stair coming off the back of this uh, dark oak wood stair and a spruce wood plank coming off that uh, spruce wood stair there to make the rear door. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a white wool block, and we're going to place down a white wool block right behind this uh, dark oak wood stair and with a stone button coming off of it like so. Um, after that's done, we're going to also place down a, a wither skeleton skull coming off this dark oak wood stair to the left side. And over here to the right side, we're going to be placing down an item frame. And in this item frame, we want to place down a glass block like this. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign and place down a sign on the side of the stair as well for this little light that's on the back of the uh, vehicle. Also, a, a little uh, detail addition you can go ahead and add on is putting down two item frames on these two dark oak wood stairs on the side. You can do it on either the left side or right side. Either side will work. Um, but you can go and just put down some item frames, put some iron tools in them for a little bit of tools not on the side of the vehicle. Again, that's kind of optional. You don't have to include that, but a uh, nice little detail bit nonetheless. Anyways, with that done there, that is going to uh, complete layer number four. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a row of three of light gray or green carpet, sorry, on top of this light gray stained glass full block and these two dark oak stairs in the front here. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this light gray stained glass block to the left side here. And coming off the mossy cobblestone wall forward, we're going to place down our item frame with a glass block, you know, like that for the little spotlight here uh, that's up here on the vehicle. With that done, we're going to take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs over, or sorry, row of two of dark oak wood slabs over from the mossy cobblestone wall. And behind the mossy cobblestone wall and these two dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs. Uh, to both ends of this uh, row of three of dark oak wood slabs, we're going to be placing down another brick slab, followed by uh, two wither skeleton skulls on the side facing toward the front, and then the side facing toward the outside like that. So you have your smoke grenade dispensers there on both sides. With uh, that all done, we're gonna take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across the middle here. We then wanna place down a second row of three after that. Once that's done there, we're gonna go and place down an item frame on the side of the second row of three, and we're gonna go and place down a black wool block in it for a little viewport here on the side of the turret. Uh, also over here on the left side here, we're actually gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair that is going to go on the side of this green terracotta block and behind the stair just to kind of keep a more green consistent color we can go into our creative menu grab ourselves a green banner and place down a green banner on the back of the stair to keep that a nice green color uh, once that's all done there we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a green terracotta block in the middle here followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides once that's done we're going to place down a uh, item frame on the back of this green terracotta block with a black wool block in it again for a little viewport we then want to take green carpet, going back from this section here, we're going to place down one and two green carpets back, one and two on the left side here, and then taking dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs to the right side. Now, once that's all finished there for uh, the exhaust, which is uh, runs up on the top of the vehicle here, obviously given it its amphibious ability. Uh, for this, it's really simple. We're going to take our end rods, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three end rods coming off this narrow brick slab. We're going to lead this into a acacia wood slab, 
and then a black carpet like so. And then we want to go and do the same thing over here on this side. So one, or my bad, we actually cannot do the green banner. So delete the green banner, uh, and then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Three end rods back, uh, acacia wood slab, and then a black carpet like that leaning toward the back there for the exhaust. Anyways, with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number four. And uh, yeah, that's layer number four, right? Uh, no, actually, sorry, layer five. And with that, we can go and move on to layer six. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layer, we have layer number uh, six. So for layer six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and go to the top up here, place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this green terracotta block. To both sides of the slab, we're going to be placing down a uh, zombie head at about a 45 uh, ish degree angle here angled on both sides like that coming off the zombie head to the right side and the dark oak wood slab we're going to be placing down two end rods for our uh, guns here our two 7.62 uh, uh, millimeter machine guns after that's done coming off the zombie head to the right side here we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door and replace down a wooden trap door that comes off of it to the side and coming off this iron or uh, this uh, wooden trap door we're going to place down a item frame glass block in the item frame and a uh, sign over it like that to make a little spotlight on the turret itself. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab here in the middle, followed by a dark oak wood slab to both sides, and then there a dark oak wood slab coming off this spruce wood slab toward the rear here. On the mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle, like down on both sides, so same thing we did in the front here, and you're going to kind of get this circular type design for the turret up on top. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off this uh, zombie head to the side and a wither skeleton skull coming off the slab toward the front for smoke grenade dispensers on the turret itself. Uh, with that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our a dark oak wood stair and we're actually going to swap this dark oak wood slab out for a dark oak wood stair. Coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame and in this item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane like that for a uh, little kind of... Uh, I guess optics uh, box or something of that sort and uh, once you guys have that all complete that is going to pretty much wrap up uh, my tutorial for the uh, BDX Belgium uh, APC our first ever Belgium uh, model warfare vehicle and maybe our first ever Belgium vehicle on the channel as a whole so really cool stuff there hopefully you guys do enjoy this build it's a bit of a different build and uh, kind of a bit more uh, specialized so hopefully you guys do enjoy it and can find a use for it if you guys do end up using this design i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this can be anything from a sign on the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites as long as you guys give me credit for it you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on and uh you know overall enjoy the build have fun with it and um, everything like that anyways that's going to do it for this video thank you guys all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been gear 204 and i'll see you guys next time